What is going on, YouTubers? This is Ricky J. Welcome to another video. And this one's going to be a crazy one, man. I just finished creating Patty the Batty Piblet, who just came off his debut inside the Octagon. An impressive win against Luigi Vendromini. And um, holy cow, what a fight that was. And I love this guy, Patty Labatty. And um, he's going to do good things in the, in the UFC in the lightweight division. And what a fight it was, man. Luigi caught him early with some shots. And <laughs> Patty the Batty came back with his crazy aggression and got the W. So I thought, why not come on here and create him, you know? And he said in his post-fight interview... With Bisbing, he's like, I hope to be in the UFC game within a week. Well, here you go, Patty. You're in the game right now. Um, the one thing, though, in EA Sports UFC, we're going to do two fights online, by the way. Um, totally unedited, just kicking back and talking about Patty the Batty. But um, with EA Sports UFC 4, they don't have a hairstyle that complements Patty the Batty. They have one, they have two that are kind of on point well not really on point but kind of similar and this is one of them even though it kind of looks like teen wolf um the other one has uh, a similar hairstyle but it's a little too short um i'll post a picture <laughs> when i edit this video but i thought why not come out here and uh just have some fun with patty the body man this guy is gonna do some good things in lightweight division i can't wait to see him going up against the upper echelon of fighters it's a really tough division um, I really feel like he's got the skills, man, because he is a wizard on the mat. Very active in terms of his submissions. You know, he's got leg locks, chokes. You know, he just has it all, and he's so aggressive. Good chin, too, man. Right here. <laughs> That's awesome fun. <laughs> he, he has good striking, too. He had... Nice kicks in his fight. You know, it didn't last very long, only one round, but he had good kicks. He looked very comfortable, but very aggressive. Great hands, you know. You know, you have those type of fighters that just are opportunists, man. Know when to capitalize on situations. And in that fight, he saw his opponent, you know, was kind of, you know, taking those shots and um, slowing down a little bit in Patty the Batty. Holy cow, we just went after him and got the W. It was crazy how it just happened so fast. You know? But yeah, I can't wait. This guy's a showman. And the UFC needs more guys like that, in my opinion. You need more guys that get you excited for fights. And guys that are, you know, willing to take chances. You know, he does it. He's very smart when he comes to his offense. Doesn't do things that totally get him out of position. I know he likes doing leg locks, and you got to be so careful with that. <laughs> but um, he's just so comfortable on the mat, which makes him, you know, open up and and be very aggressive and very entertaining. Well, this is a pretty interesting uh, first round against Chandler. Oh, you, you don't want to take down Patty the Batty, man. And he's uh, coming into the UFC as a former champion. I think he was an FCC champion. I don't know if he was a champion in other divi other um, organizations cage fighters um, but he is just a phenomenal fighter man and he's just only 26 years old from the UK and holy cow man you know almost half of his fights are won by submission seven wins by submission six by KO four by decision so he's very aggressive guy you know most of his fights don't go to a decision so I can't wait <laughs> to see Holy cow, what's in store for the future of Patty the Batty? But um, getting back to his hair in this game, you know, in EA Sports UFC, holy cow, man. They have so many wacky hairstyles, and they just got to come up with, they just have to have traditional hairstyles, like average people hairstyles, you know, because they've got some wacky styles, man. Yeah, take me down. You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see Patty. Oh, look at Patty the Batty. What's a fantastic takedown defense. Whoa. Oh, no, but then he got dropped. <laughs> Again, he, he's an opportunist, man. He's a gamer, like I said. You know what? We're going to go for a takedown, too, huh? Let's go for an ankle pick. 
You wanna play that game, baby? Let's go. And look at Patty. Going for a Kimura right away. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? Oh, and I'm chaining it up. Oh my gosh, I gotta grapple more in this game. I tend to keep it on the feet. And look at this. It's over! The guy pulls the Ethernet cable, and it's still a victory. Another submission for Patty the Body. <laughs> look at that. Look at that face right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was just too fun. But let's do one more, man. Huh? Let's do one more fight. And who do you guys think Patty the Batty should face next? Man, you gotta be careful with him, though. In my opinion, you know, I'm not saying to treat him like a Roger Huerta. Remember Roger Huerta? The UFC was very careful on who they would um, put him up against. But I would put him up against somebody where, uh, you know, the chances of Patty the Batty winning is, is, is fairly high. You don't want to give him... You know, too hard of a test. But the thing is, in the UFC, every fight is a tough test. You know what I mean? There's no, uh, how you say, there are no tomato cans inside the octagon. So, um, I don't know who we should face next. Let me know in the comments. But, uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited. As far as the main event's concerned, oh my gosh, man. Darren Till. Oh, it's just so heartbreaking. A lot of people... You know, as far as, far as my uh, friends are concerned, had him winning. You know, they were saying that, you know, Darren Till's going to take out Brunson. But people forget that Brunson, you know, he is on like some crazy long win streak. And he is just incredible, man, at mixing things up, using his amazing grappling. And it was crazy because Till was doing better, in my opinion, on the feet with the one-twos, man. But uh, Brunson, once he got that takedown, he was really softening up Till. And did a great job just being so aggressive, throwing everything at him, and then going for the submission. And it was crazy. Till didn't really put up much of a fight. Like, once the, the, the sub was locked in, he tapped right away. But uh, it's kind of unfortunate. Maybe Till's got to, like, change his diet and go back to welterweight, man. Come on. So here we go. Here we go. The final fight of the video. And I may just go for another takedown, man. Patty the Batty. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's see what happens. And it's so funny. He's what I like to call the next generation of mixed martial artists where, where they're just so good everywhere. You know what I mean? Even though people talk about his submissions, like he's tough on the feet as well. What I'm gonna do here is when my opponent overcommits on something. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'm trying to go for a takedown, man. What's going on? There we go. Oh, a nice takedown defense. I'm gonna drive it the other way now. See that? I went up and then I went down. Let's see which way this guy goes. Go back to side control. Here we go, baby. Patty the Batty. Am I going to go for another submission? <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, no way, baby. Look at this. Arm triangle? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, man. Oh, this is hard, though. I, I find the uh, choke submissions are, are tough, but this guy's kind of going bonkers. He's kind of going bonkers on the wheel. Look at this. Oh, he's really he's panicking. Can't panic, baby. Oh, he still managed to escape. Oh, but he's, I still got some time to work. I'm going to go side control. Oh, give me a break. Oh. Oh, nice. I'm telling you. Oh, side saddle. It's one of my favorite positions in this game. See if I can get his back. Look at Patty the Batty showcasing his skills. Throw some punches, huh? Soften him up a little. Oh, great ground and pound. This is the Vanguard, Jiu Jitsu Vanguard. He's probably just going to stall a little bit. Smart. Smart to do that. Oh, he gets up. Nice. Let 
They go for a flying knee. Did you see that when he had Luigi hurt, he went for a flying knee? Oh, I didn't time it right. Gotta watch out for the... Oh! <laughs> gotta watch out for the rolling thunder on that one. It's so funny when the 10 second clap hits, you know, in most cases in this game, people do crazy things, man. You gotta be so careful. But <laughs> Man, I just wish that they would come up with regular hairstyles, man. I know I'm repeating myself, but <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh, my gosh. So here we go. Second round. Yeah, I'm going to go for that takedown, man. Oh. I'm not going to mess with Gaethje too much on the feet. See that? Nice, and gets me an uppercut. Let's see if he overcommits on something. Nice feint. Here we go, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, good good job. Kinda okay, gotta be worried about my head health here. Oh, come on. Again, don't want to be swinging in the pocket against Justin. I don't care who the, you know, especially when you're using a jujitsu guy. Even though the Vanguard stand-up's not too bad. Oh, oh man. And again, Piblet, man, he has a, he has some good. Oh yeah. There we go. He has some a great chin, doesn't he? Because he took a couple of good shots and. You know, he didn't, he didn't get, it didn't seem like, you know, kind of slowed him down too much. Man, I don't like how things are going here on the feet, to be honest. Just gotta keep on putting that pressure. Let's see what he does. Nice. My opponent's doing a nice job switching things up, you know? Wow. His head health is not... His head health is not the best, but I gotta keep on pressuring him. Keep on making a miss. Yeah, series of knees. <laughs> Don't want to spam it. Oh, it looked like he was going for the one-two high kick. <laughs> Doesn't get it. Let's go, baby. Oh. Oh. Nice. Holy cow. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> oh, respect, man. That was a great job that he did. Ducking under my straight and then roundhouse kick to the head. Still think we won that round. Right? Still think we won that round. Well, let's try to finish off this video and finish off this fight with... Uh, <laughs> with a better round. <laughs> here we go, baby. You're still here, man. Much love to you. Here we go. Man, I gotta go for that takedown. Let's see, yeah, see my my opponent here seems to be you know going for the denial up. So I'm gonna go down. Right? Just gotta, you gotta think, man. You gotta think when you play these games. Here we go. Okay, okay. He may panic and go up. Oh, Piblet. Gets the single. Oh, going for a leg lock. Go for a leg lock. He, he likes these, man, in real life. 
He likes these, and he's very crafty with them. And again, he puts himself out of position sometimes to go for it, and I like that. Gotta take your chances sometimes. Oh, baby. No, don't quit. Is it over? Is it over? It's over! Yes! <laughs> Two submissions for the submission specialist. And Patty the Batty gets the dub. <laughs> and he's already in the game. It's so funny that in the post-fight interview, how huh, that's like one of the first things he wanted to say. He's like, I'll be in the video game in about a week. Oh my gosh, too funny. But anyways, people, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Oh man, that was just way too much fun. This is what it's all about, man. I just love making videos like this, creating fighters, having some fun online. Great times, great times. But anyways, guys, have a great day. This is Ricky J. All the best, man. Love ya. I'm out of here. Peace. Are you intoxicated or something?